Hello there and welcome to Bullets for Bucks. My name's Steven and today we're going to compare the Hawa Carbon Elevate against the Hawa Stalker. Now both of these rifles are extremely similar. So first let's go over the stock since it's identical on both rifles. It's a hand laid carbon fiber stock from Stockies. Features a limb saver thin profile recoil pad that's very soft. Have sling swivel studs here at the rear. Very traditional comb on this stock. A little bit fatter than normal palm swell. And then you have a all metal trigger guard and floor plate. You can open up that floor plate depending on the caliber. It's uh, 3 plus 1 or 4 plus 1. And you can get this in mini action, short action, and long action. It features a hacked two stage trigger that's not really user adjustable, has a curved trigger blade, and comes from the factory usually about 2.5 to 3.5 pounds. Features a steel receiver with an integral one-piece one piece recoil lug that the front action screw beds into. So excellent receiver, very beefy and well-made. And these are pillar bedded. They have a bolt release on the side, so you can remove the bolt. The bolt features two locking lugs, plunger ejector, Sako style extractor, a traditional style bolt knob, and toolless firing pin removal. Both the receivers and the bedding systems on these rifles are identical. Does not come with a scope base. Um, I have a 20 MOA scope base that I put on this one. And I believe these receivers have either a hard anodized finish or are blued. And then coming forward on the uh, Hawa Elevate, it features a carbon fiber wrapped barrel um, that I was told is made in Japan by Hawa, like the receiver is. Um, it is not free-floated on the Carbon Elevate like the Stalker is. And they both feature, depending on the caliber, 22 or 24 inch barrels. And the Stalker, or excuse me, the Elevate has a barrel that is threaded 5 8 by 24. It does not come with the muzzle brake. And both of them feature hmm, a little bit fatter than average forend grip and front sling swivel studs. When the safety is on, it locks the bolt in place. One forward unlocks the bolt, but doesn't allow you to fire. All the way forward, you can unlock the bolt and fire the weapon. Now let's take a look at the Stalker. The Stalker is essentially identical in every way. Both these are 6.5 Creed Morse. The Stalker does, though, come in at a little bit lighter weight of about 6.2 pounds, where I believe the Carbon Elevate comes in at like 6.5, 6.8 pounds, so just a little bit heavier. Um, and the Stalker features a fully free-floated, like, number two contour, very lightweight barrel, and it's threaded one half by 28. So you do have to get a thread adapter for most muzzle brakes or suppressors, as most come threaded 5 8 by 24, 4, 6, 5 Creedmoor. Um, all right, now that we've gone over the basics, let's go to the range and see how these perform. All right, now that we've gotten back from the range, um, the Hawa Carbon Elevate, uh, which is made in Japan and features the Hawa 1500 action, shot absolutely amazing with factory ammunition. It was capable of half or three quarter MOA with factory ammunition at 100 yards. Um, I did notice that once I got around maybe six to eight rounds being shot in quick succession through the barrel, uh, I did have a little bit of deviation due to barrel heating or chamber heating. Now let's go to the 
Stalker. The Stalker also capable of basically the same accuracy, though it was a little bit harder for me to achieve it due to the fact that I believe it's lighter and this super slim profile barrel heats up even quicker than the carbon fiber wrapped barrel in my opinion. And therefore I have more deviation. On about the third and fourth shot, I noticed deviation uh, much quicker than with the carbon elevate. So in closing, if you have the extra money to get the Carbon Elevate over the Stalker, I would do it just so that you can get basically more range time out of it, have more fun at the range, shooting it while it's hotter without having to worry about deviation as much because of the barrel heating up. Um, but if you're just looking to hunt, I would get the Stalker as you don't have to worry about any issues with the barrel integrity or the carbon fiber wrap, and it's a little bit lighter. Hope you enjoyed this comparison of the Hawa Carbon Elevate versus the Howa Stalker. Thanks for watching Bullets for Bucks. Check out this next video and subscribe.